All right guys, so a really simple drill today, how we can try and perfect that one-two and build the reactions and the footwork needed to land the one-two. So what we're gonna do is, we're all, that's the only combination we're gonna throw is the one-two today. But in between every one-two that we throw, we're gonna work on movement and making sure our box is in line and in front of us, perfectly in position to land that one-two. Now the good thing with this, we don't have to call the combination, right? We just want our boxer just to react to the pads going up. So it helps train that reactive element too. So if you've trained any fighters, this is a great drill for them. Amateur boxers and stuff, getting in their feet in position to land the one-two. And as soon as you see the opening and the target and the range, they can throw that nice long one-two and land it. Before we get to the actual drill, just a reminder to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, leave any questions you have in the comments, I'll get right back to you. Okay, so for the drill, like I said, we're only gonna throw the one-two, we're just gonna do it 10 times. Now, how many times you do the one-two or however long you go for is up to you, but for the purposes of this video today, we're gonna do 10 of them, right? As I'm going through it, I'm gonna coach and commentate as we go through it. So mitts are gonna be down, we're just gonna work on some footwork just to get our boxer to kinda think about lining themselves up to land the one-two. So right here, getting across, and then as soon as I throw the mitts up, I'm keeping that narrow target, my box is just gonna shoot that one-two nice and sharp. All right, so hands up. <coughs> nice. So that's one, and we're gonna do 10 all together. So it's gonna take us about 30 seconds or so to land 10 of them. Concentrating on the feet, and making sure she's using good footwork, she's on balance, the hands are up, the chins are down. <coughs> now when I think I've got her in a position where she's not ready, that's when I'm gonna give the one-two. That's four, Ish. five, moving around, Ish. six, nice and sharp with the jab, Ish. seven, so we got three more, Ish. eight, make sure the jab's solid, Ish. nine, get across, that's it, there you go, Ish. ah, ten, rest, good job. All right guys, so there you have it. So we see you did a lot of footwork moving around and that's just training to make sure that the feet are in line and in position where the target's gonna be. So if you've got somebody who's new to this drill, start off nice and slow. Make sure it's nice and clear when the mitts are up and when they're down. You don't have to call for the one-two. You could do this five times over the course of 30 seconds. You could do it 10 times like what we did and drag it out over an entire two or three minute round if you wanted to, to keep it real simple and work on just more of the movement. But what I love about this drill is your boxers have to be switched on the whole time. They're constantly thinking about getting their feet in position and they constantly have to be ready because the mitts could go up at any time. So it's really good for translating this to a spar or even a fight scenario too. So try this one out, let me know how it goes. Check this video out here as well on my number one tip on how to drill technique for your boxes as well.